Hello everyone. Welcome to this edition of Healing Through Writing. My name is Empress Pamela and in the year 2024 we are tackling 400 writing prompts. Actually 366 because it is a leap year and I did begin this series back in 2023. So whenever you find this video it is the right time for you to pick up that pen and your favorite notebook and start spending time with yourself in reflection. The way I do this is I read the prompts twice and then I share with you my response. So today we are tackling prompts numbered 221 and 222. Let us begin. Prompt number 221. Have you ever been accused of something you didn't do? How did it turn out? Prompt number 221. Have you ever been accused of something you didn't do? How did it turn out? I can't recall if in my past there was something detrimental that I was accused of that I didn't do. Probably and most likely there were minor things and I realize these accusations may have evolved from the accuser's own personal wounded place and were a reflection of their hurt and pain. Now I am more familiar with the ways of a narcissist that will purposely do something to get a reaction from you. I believe it is called gaslighting. The narcissist will blatantly accuse you of something knowing full well it is not true. How you react is whether or not the match they throw into the fire stays lit or not. Prompt number 222. Would you ever sign a prenuptial agreement? Would it upset you? Prompt number 222. Would you ever sign a prenuptial agreement? Would it upset you? Having an agreement in any relationship is for protection and understanding of expectations. A prenuptial agreement is for a personal relationship. Before signing any such agreement, I would ensure my interests are addressed by having my own personal attorney read the document, explain what is unclear, and to make reasonable adjustments to the document to offer me the best, most fair outcome to protect my interests. So, kind of a weird <laughs> day of prompts, but, you know, um, this is why we do it. This is why we expand our mind. This is why we ask these questions that maybe we don't think of every day. Um, yeah, and it's interesting. I just, I just love the idea of spending a little bit of time with yourself to really figure out who you, are, who you are at the core, what makes you tick. Maybe some of your ideas have changed over the years, you know, with age comes wisdom, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.